The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says its Monetary Policy Committee, MPC, decision to increase the interest rate has come to stay since the decision is to control the rise in inflation. The Apex Bank, at a post-MPC briefing tagged, unveiling facts behind the figures, says the hue and cry from concerned financial experts and other stakeholders in the Nigerian economy over the increase from 14% to 15.5 percent. Its 287th meeting is a welcome development to take necessary actions to stem the rising inflation rate. The bank therefore stated that it will restrict its intervention to critical sectors like the SMEs and the electricity sector. While speaking on the various economic intervention initiatives by the CBN and the prospect of recouping the funds, the Director, Development Finance Department, Dr. Yila Yusuf, said about 9 trillion naira had been invested in the various development finance interventions and all the monies would be recovered. He said only 3.7 trillion naira has been repaid. In his remarks, CBN's Director, Monetary Policy Department, Hassan Mahmoud, said the MPC got to a point where stringent measures have to be taken to control inflation. He said that the committee took cognizance of global as well as local economic issues in arriving at its policy decisions. Speaking on the depreciation of the Naira, the director, Trade and Exchange Department, Ozemena Naji, said the Apex Bank was taking steps to firm up the currency. The target at inflation, taming inflation, is also to deal with this vulnerable goods obtained the SM. Because even if you allow growth and production to go up and you make earnings, the, 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 the increase in earnings is wiped away by inflation. So you are not really getting any. So it's good to tame that inflation so that, you know, the, the disposable income, that is the income available for you to spend, has value. The whole objective is to address the liquidity surfeit, which is currently adding to the inflationary pressures. You know, so, and the central bank will continue to review and assess the situation and deploy its traditional monetary policy tools to ensure that we achieve our um, objectives. 3.7 trillion has been repaid. Um, most of them are still under moratorium, especially in manufacturing. Manufacturing forms the largest pie of our portfolio, over 31%. In the last two to three years, we've moved from agri that used to be uh, the biggest um, buy of the lending to manufacturing. You know, it takes a very long time. You have to order these equipment. You know, you have to put buildings in place, assemble, assemble them. So it takes a long time. So in the last two to three years post-COVID that we've lent out quite a significant sum to manufacturing, you begin to see the net effect of all those investments in Q4. The central bank is doing a lot to ramp up supply. One of them is our drive on the remittances, an IRA for dollar. And we have seen a huge increase in the level of remittances uh, that have come in after we implemented the IRA for dollar. So we're ramping up our policy on increasing supply. As long as we keep increasing supply, um, we will continue to um, start seeing a narrowing of the gap. 